Hello everyone, this is the SOLIDWORKS image figure that we're going to do to analyzing pattern. As you can see, this solid First of all, we have to create a new file, a new part, OK, and change the units to inches. Document property units and IPS format. On sketch, we select the top plane to create the base of the figure and a center rectangle with the dimensions of 1.5 and a base of 4 inches. Go to Features, Extrude Base, and a 0 0.5 length, and we create the base. After this, we go to the front view and create a sketch on that, on that view, and create a circle that's right in the center of the sketch. A line that unites the diameter of the circle and on trim entities on trim to closes we trim the inferior part for the dimensions we add a 0 0.75 radius and from the center of the circle to the edge we add a 2 inches length and from the corner to the bottom of the piece, we add a 1.5 inches length. We go to Features, Extrude Bow Space. We change the direction, make sure of that, and select a 0.5 inch. So after we have this figure, we go to the Superior View and sketch on it. We select Circle and draw a circle with the following dimensions. This dimension will be 0 0.5. It's 0 0.5 to each corner. And spark dimension. And we click on 0 0.5. And for the diameter of the circle, we're going to select 932. Now we're going to select a center line, create a center line for us to mirror the entities, the circle we just created. So we select the circle as shown and mirror about the center line. So now we have the two circles and go to extruded cut through all. And now we have the two holes on the plate. The next part is to create the, the orifice on the front part with the whole wizard, counterbore orifice, select the end inch, the hex bolt, hex screw, sorry, uh, one fourth size, normal fit, and through all. In the position, we select the front part and make sure that it's centered to the sketch and just select the region you want. So now we have the the circle in there. Now the next sketch will be an extrude cut on the bottom, a rectangle extrude cut. Create the rectangle, set dimensions. The dimension should be zero from that edge to the edge of the rectangle. It should have a 1.5 inch base and a zero point 0 0.125 inch height. So now we go to extrude cut through all and OK. Now we have the extrude cut rectangular extrude cut over the, the solid. So now we go to fillet, select all of the shown edges and set a radius of 0 0.25 inches and click OK. So now we return to fillet 
and select all the shown edges of the solid. Make sure to select each one of them. And in here we're going to select a radius of 0 0.125 inches and click OK. So now we have the solid. The solid we're going to use for the pattern analysis. So we have to save it as a parasolid. Select parasolid. You can select the any name you want and click save. So now it's time to go to pattern. Create a, a new a new document. Again, you can call it whatever you want. But in here, we're gonna call it part one. So here we have it, click OK on this part, and now import the, the, the figure you created in on SOLIDWORKS as a parasolid as shown. Search for the part and click apply. So here we have it. This is a solid we're going to be working with here in Patron. So now go to the meshing part, meshing tab. Create mesh and solid. Make sure these three parts are the same. And on input list, select the whole solid. And uncheck the automatic calculation and enter 0 0.25 and apply. So now we have the mesh. Put some loads. In here you have to create a displacement, a total load. Set the new name as force. And on the input data, you select, we have to have a force on the negative C part of the, sorry, that's a Y. So zero, zero, negative 5,000 as a force to be in the C section. And on select application region, select solid faces select this part of the solid click add ok and apply so now to check if your forces are okay now create displacement nodal set fixed on translation 0 0 0 and on select application region select the two circles under solid and add both of them and click apply. So now we have the constraints for this. Now on properties and isotropic we're going to create the new material. Set material name is aluminum. And on the input properties select elastic modulus as 10 e to the seventh to the sixth sorry and the poison ratio to 0 0.3 and apply. So now to set the material to the solid, we're going to create a 3D solid. Property set name as 3D tests. On input properties, we're going to select the aluminum material and click OK. And on the select application region, we're going to select the whole solid. The solid one, add it, OK, and apply. So now the aluminum is part of the or new solid. For the analysis, we're going to select Analyze, Entire Model, and Analysis Deck. So, go to Translation Parameters, and set the card format to small, and OK. Now, Solution Type, make sure it's linear static, and in Solution Parameters, select the Results Output Format, make sure it's like that, OK, OK, and OK and apply. should look like this. So now, enter it to an astron, select the PDF file, open, and run it.
when you return to Patron, creating select access results, attach XDB, result entities, and on select results file, select the XDB file and apply. So now it should say and attach result file. Now go to results, create the formation, make sure it's selected and displacement trans translational, and apply. It should give you this image in your pattern. Now go to plot erase and erase the geometry part. So click erase and OK. And now go to the display attributes and in the render style select shaded, uncheck the show on the form and apply. So it should give you a view like this one with the results 9.49. Now go to a fringe deformation, create fringe and click on display attributes. Click on stress sensor first and then go to display attributes on display select element edges and click apply. So now we have the analysis done. It should look like this. And thanks for watching.